the troubleshooting methods for your damaged membrane switch. In daily life, if the membrane switch is damaged, how do we troubleshoot and repair it? In this video, your panel will explain how to repair the faulty membrane switch. First, you must locate the damaged part. Press all buttons and see if the various functions of the device are activated. If only one or two buttons do not respond, the metal dough may be broken or displaced. We can use the hot air from the hand dryer to heat the product for 5 to 10 minutes. The purpose of this is to reduce the viscosity of the adhesive by heating. The metal dome is on the third layer at the bottom of the membrane switch, and we can disassemble it to check or replace the dome. If none of the buttons respond, you need to check for loose or damaged terminal housings at the end of the circuit. If there is no problem with the above, it means that the internal circuit is faulty and the entire circuit layer needs to be replaced. To replace the membrane switch panel of the same model and specification, we only need to remove the control panel. The operation is very simple. Micro switches are also an option if you can't get a membrane switch panel. The circuit design should follow the old membrane switch. As for how to install the micro switch, we can complete it by drilling holes, silicone fixing and wiring. If you have any questions about membrane switching, welcome to Durpanel.